us went to school and learned calculus. Mm -hmm. When's the last time you used calculus? <laughs> Never. So what was the point of learning it? To get a grade for what? It doesn't apply to our real lives. But everything we learned in elementary school, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, we use that every day. How to read, how to write, we use it every day. So what was the point of all of this unnecessary crap that we put in our brains? And then when it comes to our money, we learn how to count money, but we don't, we don't learn how to grow money. We learn how to work for money instead of money working for us. So I mentioned 2008 for a reason. For those of us who remember 2008, do you know someone who maybe lost some value in their investments at that point? Were they happy or were they sad about that? Mm, upset. Yeah, upset. Anybody know a guy named Warren Buffett? Yes. Ever heard of him? Sure. Warren Buffett did something special in 2008. Now, you all know, who, who banks with Bank of America? Okay, so Bank of America, right? In 2008, Bank of America was in danger of, of going away. Y'all knew that, right? They were one of those banks that were going under. Yep. Warren Buffett said, hmm, Bank of America, a big bank, one of the biggest banks in the, in the country. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to invest. I'm going to invest five billion dollars in Bank of America, and I'm going to lift them up out of this turmoil. Why did Why did Warren Buffett do that? Why Why did he do that? Anybody know? Sure, he thought he could make a cut. But, but the market was going south. What made Warren Buffett think that putting $5 billion into Bank of America was going to <clears throat> turn a profit? What made him think that? tell you what she said. Warren Buffett understood that nothing stays down. As thing, let me tell you what goes down and what happens next? It goes back up. It goes down again, then what happens next? It comes back up. It goes down again and what happens? It comes back up. So Warren Buffett said, hmm, Bank of America is super cheap. They're in the news. They're going they're about to go under. Their stock is ridiculously cheap. Let me get some B of A stock right here and let me infuse this amount of money in there. And when I do it, this is Warren Buffett talking, when I invest in Bank of America, what's going to happen is people are going to say, hey, why is Warren investing in Bank of America? And he dropped five billion of his own personal money? So then other people start buying. And then all of a sudden, Warren Buffett probably made, I don't know, 20 billion off that investment when he sold it in 2009. So I said all of this to say, the stock market is your greatest friend, your greatest ally in your wealth building game plan but you gotta understand how to play the game of the market. If you don't understand the game, logically, you're gonna emotionally kill your financial future. Most people, they, they make financial decisions based on emotions. Now, you didn't do it, you didn't do it emotionally when you started it, but once you start seeing your account value go, and, and this is what most people do. Like, I have a lady, that, that is a client of mine, right? So she worked at IBM. Now, she, she was a, a junior executive at IBM. She worked there for 20 something years, okay? So in 2001, she told me this story. She said, hey, 
In 2001, my account value was 400,000 plus. What happened in 2001? The dot-com no. bubble burst. Who remembers that? Now I'm 42. Those of you who are my age or a little bit older, y'all should remember that. Or, or you're not paying attention. Y'all like, yeah, I ain't worried about that. <laughs> Shoot, I, I ain't invested in it, so I don't get it. But, so the tech bubble burst went down to 200,000. Now, what would you have done if that happened? And that happened in a matter of a year. What would you have done? Anybody, call it out. <laughs> Most cried. people did that now. Most people are like, what the heck? I just lost 200. What you do after you finish crying? What would you do with your money? Most would people take it out. Would you move it into something stable? Would you stop contributing? Would you contribute more? What would, what would you have done? Anybody? Where would you have moved it? What would I move it to? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> would you have moved it into something where it wouldn't have any more losses? That would be the plan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who, who concur? By the way, what's your name? Jennifer. Jennifer. Who concurs with Jennifer? Raise your hand. <laughs> now, see, don't, don't be shy and don't try to act like you know, we in, a, we in a mixed room. You know, I know he about to hit me with a twist. Let me not. Keep it 100 with me. Who would have done the same exact, or who did the same exact thing? Oh, everybody's just a financial whiz out there. Okay, okay. All right. <laughs> so what she did is she swept it into a safe area. And she kept it there from 01 